Now, California lawmakers and other elected officials up and down the state continue to be divided over whether to change Proposition 47. That's a law that's become notorious for loosening drug and theft crimes here in California. And KCRA 3 Capital Correspondent Ashley Zavala joins us now with an update on this debate surrounding all of this, because a lot of people have an opinion yeah. on this, since and we've seen such a rise in these crimes. Yeah, everyone does have an opinion on this. There is a growing bipartisan group of people who want voters to have the chance to decide if Prop 47 should be overhauled to reinstate serious penalties for drug dealers and repeat thieves. But there's also a growing group that does not think that's necessary. Assembly Speaker Robert Revis is the latest to say he does not think going back to the ballot on this issue is needed, he told Politico this morning. Now, he hosted a news conference today on a set of bills he hopes will address organized retail theft by making it easier to arrest suspected shop shoplifters, along with new reporting requirements for retailers and online sellers. But the speaker only took two questions and walked off as I asked about his comments to Politico, which he didn't answer, but his office later confirmed. In the only question he'd take on the ballot initiative, he essentially said the issue should be left up to lawmakers. I believe in the legislative process. This is our um, you know, opportunity in the spirit of collaboration to work together, to refine a lot of these bills and ideas, uh, to get good public policy. Um, and, you know, there's no turning back the clock on the criminal justice reforms that have been enacted. Uh, for us, it's understanding the root causes of this problem, which is complex. Now, none of those bills that he presented are new. We have a link on our website right now to those bills that he's referring to. Now, the campaign supporting the Prop 47 overhaul said the bills are a step in the right direction, but say much more needs to be done that requires voter approval. That campaign has until the end of this month to collect more than half a million signatures for it to qualify and land on the November ballot. Lawmakers have not said what they will do in the event that happens. Mm -hmm. So, to be seen. We'll keep following it. Yeah, Thank we you, Ashley. Yeah.